As you know, this 210-gallon uh, South and Central American tank is being filtered by both a sump and a canister. And the problem with my DIY sumps, unlike uh, some sump systems out there that are completely enclosed, mine can lose um, water with evaporation, right? You, your water level can go down. The, the reason that that's a problem is that if I go on, if I go on a long weekend a vacation and I have somebody here feeding the fish and the water level gets too low, the pump can overheat and it can start just throwing a bunch of bubbles into the aquarium, micro bubbles. It's not, not a good scene, right? I don't really have anyone who can watch my fish that I would necessarily, not so much trust, but, but feel confident that they would be able to top off a sump correctly. So I have a, I finally was able to, to, to install a, uh, an, an ATO, an automatic top off that I had running in California. And what it does, it operates off of a very simple principle. It has a float. And when the float gets, you know, goes down, right, because the water level goes down and the float goes down. And so at that, at that point, it starts releasing its water into the sump. And so what this is going to do is it's going to allow, allow me to go for a couple of weeks and not have to worry about the sump water level getting too low and needing to be topped off. And it's always adding some fresh water to the sump, which is also a good thing. Now I just got to figure out a way to uh, do something uh, comparable with the 300 gallon, even though for some reason the 300 gallon evaporation rate doesn't seem to be quite as high, even though both of the sumps are about uh, 40 gallons. In other words, the, the, they're both like 40 gallon breeder size, right? But for some reason, I don't know why, the, uh, the, the sump under the, under the 300 gallon, that water level doesn't seem to really go down that much. Another thing that I did here recently was add a little carbon to a 29 gallon, which uh, I had just finished uh, treating for and clearing up. Ick. The, and it was funny because I was, I, was, I was wondering, what am I going to do? How am I going to do it? Do I, have, do I put uh, an expertmatic internal filter in there with carbon, which blows so hard that it would be really hard on those small nano fish in there? Another reason why us fish keepers never throw anything away. I had these old uh, Cichet uh, nano pumps. Uh, they, they were perfect. They were absolutely perfect for being able to add a dose of carbon to, to the 29 gallon to clear up the residual uh, medication. I'll usually medicate and then uh, at the completion of medication run carbon for 30 days then take the carbon out and throw it away. I, I normally don't run carbon for extended periods and I've heard that if you run carbon for too long in an aquarium without swapping it out it can start to release toxins back into the into the aquarium. So I'm not sure if that's true that's just something you hear floating around in the fish community. That's the update uh, this is going to be a game changer for me with this, with, with this uh, auto top off and I'm going to keep an eye on it, make sure it's working perfect before I go on any kind of vacation. Right? <laughs> Just like my auto feeders. I have some auto feeders from the aquarium co-op and, uh, and some that I got from a, from a friend of mine, some Eheim ones from a friend of mine here in uh, Nashville. I'm going to definitely watch them work for uh, a, a good number of days before I go on a vacation and, and feel confident that they're going to be able to do the job uh, while I'm away. So. So that's, that, that's a quick update and a bit of a game changer on the uh, sump. I just got to figure out how to do it on the 300 gallon. Any tips or advice, share them below. I'll really, really appreciate it. And I hope to see you on Saturday for the Cichlids and Coffee live stream every Saturday at 11 a.m. Central. Some Saturdays, like this, this coming Saturday, there is not going to be one because I do take uh, weekends off from time to time. And have a great 4th of July and I'll see you next time. Be sure to sub, become a Patreon, hit the notification bell, all that good stuff. And, uh, and if you want my best tips, uh, hit this up here uh, and I'll get you my best tips. You wanna subscribe, hit me in the mug right here. And if you want uh, some water change tips, check out that playlist right there. All right, thank you my friends. And I hope to see you again soon. That's it for me, bye-bye.